it is almost surprising that the Samoyed as a really beautiful dog with a wonderful character does not have a much larger fan base. Among the recognized sled dog breeds, however, the Husky has now outstripped him by far. Now, read about these 10 interesting facts about Samoyeds you may not have known before. Number 1. Samoyeds come from Siberia. As the name suggests, these dogs served as companions for the Samoyeds who lived in Siberia. The hard-working dogs pulled sleds, herd the reindeer back to their owners, hunted deer and were particularly tireless sheepherders in the Siberian veldt. But they were just as useful in the house, the friendly dogs played with the children and kept their owners warm with coats made of their fluffy fur. Number 2. The name of the Samoyed is often mispronounced. Most people assume that the name of this handsome dog is pronounced Samoyed, but the correct pronunciation is actually Samied. The Samoyed also has a few other names, including some real tongue twisters, Bielkir, Samoyedskaya Sobaka, and Nemetskaya Laika. To the nicknames of the breed belong, Sammy, Sam, and Smiley. Number 3. The Samoyed is one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. The Samoyed dog breed is one of 14 old dog breeds with genetic traces that are closest to the wolves. You can always detect the wolf ancestors by their fox-like faces and curly tails. Other examples are Shiba Inus, American Akitas and Chow Chows. The Samoyeds first appeared in England in the late 19th century and in the USA in 1906. The breed was recognized by the American Kennel Club, AKC, in the same year. Number 4. Samoyeds are amazing dogs. The most remarkable feature of the Samoyed is their beautiful, thick white coat. Their eyes are almond-shaped and mostly black or brown. Their ears are as furry as the rest of the dog and stand upright. Another amazing feature of the Samoyeds is their tail, which curls over the back. When the Samoyed is relaxed and feels comfortable, the tail usually falls down. Male Samoyeds are from 21 to 24 inches, women from 19 to 21 inches. The average weight for a Samoyed is 50 to 60 pounds. Number 5. The Samoyed is famous for his smile. The reason why one of the nicknames of the Samoyed is, Smiley, is that these dogs have a distinctive grin. The corners of their mouths turn upwards and give them a happy expression called, Sammy Smile. Number 6. Samoyeds have no odor. In contrast to other dog breeds, the Samoyed is an odorless dog. These dogs don't have to bathe as often as other dogs, but frequent brushing is a must to protect their fur from matting. Number 7. The Samoyed's coat is a challenge for every owner. The fur of the Samoyed is gorgeous but needs a lot of care. Owners of these dogs have to be very disciplined when brushing to avoid felting and matting. No wonder that the Samoyed spread a lot of hair everywhere during the change of coat. The Samoyed has a double-layered coat. The undercoat is soft, short and thick, with longer hairs growing to the outer coat. The outer layer is rough and straight. There is a ruff around the neck and shoulders. The coat colors include pure white, biscuit, yellow, cream and white with silver tips. Number 8. Samoyeds want to be full members of their families. Samoyeds are known as loving family dogs, although they are often closest to one person in the household. These dogs must be with their humans, and if they are left alone too often or too long, they may be destructive and depressive when left alone. Number 9. Samoyeds are good with children and other dogs. A well-socialized Sammy loves children, but it is important that the encounter with small children is monitored. Samoyeds typically have a quiet temperament, so they can perform well around other dogs, especially when raised together from a young age. Number 10. Researchers used Samoyeds for their expeditions to the poles. In the 19th century, the Samoyed was particularly successful. He was joining some expeditions to the North and South Pole. The Norwegian explorer Fritjof Nansen chose Sammies for his journey to the North Pole in 1893 because of their endurance and trainability. Although his journey was not successful, he did not have enough food with him. The dogs proved to be excellent sled dogs. The English explorer Robert Scott and the Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen also used the dogs on their expeditions to the South Pole. Scott had a team of 33 dogs, Amundsen had 52. Amundsen beat Scott with his team, led by a Samoyed named Etta.